Ryan Little. <laughs> So Ryan's brought his um, R35 GTR to the channel, and uh, so right, tell us about what's going on with the car, man. It's not standard, is it? No, not as such. It's obviously standard body work, standard wheels. Yeah. Um, it's like the um, Alcon disc upgrade with okay. the Paget RS29 brakes, okay. like pads. Yeah. Um, you've got the literal stage one map, uh, yeah. which I believe just basically entails with decal point. No, no, sorry, not decal. It's a White pipe, okay. White pipe upgrade, yeah. which is a Miltech one, um, and then you've got obviously most of it. Then from there is pretty much stuff like all your updates, software updates, gearbox, yeah, um, the adjustable maps for the fuel. Okay, so and you got an adjustable map on the adjustable there, yeah. map on the steering wheel, yeah, which goes yeah. through the cruise control buttons. Okay, okay, um, and an adjustable boost as well, which is again that's done through the cruise control buttons, so you can okay. up the boost from I think it's something like probably tell you on here. Yeah, so lowest you can run is 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then your highest you can go right up to about sort of 1.7, I'd say, 1.8 bar. Okay, and at 1.8 bar, what kind of power should you push? Uh, 1.8 bar would be 590. 590, yeah? Yeah, oh, man. Nice. So what are these the standards? Three, uh, are they in four, three? Four, or something? Yeah, yeah, I think the 2009 model, I believe, is about 470, something like that. 470 is standard, yeah? Uh, standard, yeah, in the factory. Right? Okay, and so with the stage one, you're getting 590 out of it, yeah? 590, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to go any more than that, you're looking uh, you're looking a feral whack of money from Litchfield just to get up by another 30 break. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you owned the car? Uh, I've had the car for about, probably roughly about a year, somewhere now. About a year now, yeah. And so, in that year's time, everything's been alright with you? You've had no, no I've problems? I've had literally or, uh, no problems whatsoever with it. Um, obviously, before I bought it, the chap that had it before me was one owner from New. Okay. Um, and he just literally had a major service done up, literally yeah. with it. So the next thing that I had to do was an oil change, which got done about, what, about 100 miles ago. Okay, so did, is, there, is there any known issues with these now? Because they've been about, what, about nine years now? Yeah, um, years? I think the earlier models had the issue with the bell and on the gearbox. Yeah. And there's some circlips as well, which was a bit of an issue. Okay. Um, but obviously, I think the chap that had it before me, knowing about that issue because it was going to Litchfield so often. He had the Litchfield Bell as an upgrade with all the circlips okay. and then they get changed on a regular basis and I think so no sort of other issues that I know of. Okay. Like you said it's treated me it's been signed as like yeah. a bit of a pace and I haven't really done mega miles, I've only done about probably about two thousand miles in it, roughly speaking. Yeah. So so engine wise like like there's been no reported major issues of things going wrong. So, Nothing what kind of point do you have to think about forging these cars then when you start boosting them? And all um, so I know you. I've seen ones that are a thousand. I've even seen a two thousand horsepower one. Yeah. So, I would say probably. I'd say if you're going to go like big power, like up over a thousand, you want to start looking at, or even probably eight hundred, like probably go and start forging things. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go too much of it. Yeah. Um, I know the turbos are probably limiting it to a certain extent. Yeah. So you've got to go steady with that. Um, but like you said, it, on the road, as you'll see today, it's like it's quick enough for the roads. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. say it's still a car this is on my bucket list man it's, I've got yes. to have one just to, just to tick it off I've had the, the 33s I've had the GTR 33 and the GTS 33 yeah. but I've got to get one of these 35s I, I love these cars man I think from any angle this is just for me personally I know there's gonna be people out there that are gonna be like oh no they're ugly they're this and that but for me personally any angle I look at this car I'm just like yeah man yeah yeah man. there's just something about it yeah I went into Nissan the other day just to have a look so I was looking at getting some new badges for it yeah and uh they got a new one in there and it, it's nice but i find they've made it a little bit too sort of pointy right everything's okay. got too many angles on which understandable is probably for aerodynamics yeah making yeah. the vehicle better 
but at the same time you sort of look at it and you go, is it really worth, I think it was the base model, I think it was about, I think it roughly it was about 85 grand. Bloody hell. So this is a black edition, yeah? Correct? It's a black edition. So yeah, what's the difference a, between a black edition and like a, a normal? I think with the black edition. edition, obviously you get your you get your half leather and suede red and black Recaro seat. Yeah. Uh, you got your black headlining right. instead of it being usually it's like a little sort of grey colour. All ah, right. Okay. Um, uh, other than that, I don't think there's a lot with it. Right. Okay. So just so just, so just more cosmetic stuff. Yeah, then. it's more like yeah. sort of like little refinements in the cabin more so than like all the engines are the same. Do you yeah. Know what I mean, they, they might change a few bits here or there. Um, obviously, I didn't really look into it too much. I just sort of knew what it were like. Knew they yeah. all run the same engine. They're pretty much being Japanese. I like the Evo. Evo's all got the same engine in. Yeah. They just yeah. sort of play about with a few things, change a few specs on them. And just sort of up the power as they go. Yeah, That's what yeah. they've been doing with these. They've been taking them up and up and up and up. And I believe now, I think they're up at, I think the standard one, if you bought a black edition now on a sort of new shape, sort of 2018, yeah. I think the power is up to about sort of 5, I think it's 540, 542. Right, okay. business as well Ryan yeah so you want to give, yeah, it, give yeah. it a little plug and I'll give there's going to be a link for Ryan's um, detailing business in the description down below guys so I've I've done a video on his unit before and what he does so there's also going to be a link right now for that video but do you want to just elaborate a bit more on what, yeah, what, yeah. what what's the company called right uh, well company's called Project Detail yeah um, it's based down in Cruise Hall in uh, Bristol yeah in Bristol yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just basically just making your car look as good as it can, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Everything yeah. from your general maintenance washes to machine polishing, paint sealants, waxes, coatings, yeah. um, all sorts of stuff, do you know what I mean? Just getting the car with what you've got there to look as good as it can be. Should we have a little blast? Yeah man, go for it. What was that for a little blast? Oh, we're going into hard mode. Full out mode now, guys. We're, we're ready for it. I'm ready. <laughs> I forgot how quick it is. <laughs> ah, that talk, man, and that sound. 
on. Oh gosh, man. Strange. I was watching a video the other night that a couple of lads had put on. I think it was one of the lads with their, I think it was like BM or something. Um, a couple of GTRs that were out. You watch this BM pull away from the GTR. Is that an M5 BM? Yeah. yeah, I know which one it is. I, I know which one it yeah, is. Yeah, we, we know, yeah. <laughs> we won't say no names though. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you watch, when you watch that, it makes the GTR look slow. Slow, yeah, you know I know. And you go like, Jesus Christ. I, I've seen that M5 in the flesh, man. And yeah. it sounds just the nuts, man. But it is just... Right, right, guys. Welcome to the channel, right? <laughs> Project Detail, <laughs> part two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do I feel nervous all of a sudden? Do you feel nervous? Nah, mate. You are right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. I know you can drive, man. Uh, right, where are we going? Push him, push him right down on the top there with your thumb. It will feel clunky, don't worry about it, it's just a box. And then pull the way out it and then handbrake off and away you go. Oh, this is like a flipping dream come true now. That's it, and then thumb in and up too. That That's it? it, yeah, you see it on the, yeah, in yeah. This, on the right there, not And then fucking all the way back. If you want to put it into manual, just literally like now it's in manual now, look, yeah. so it'll just stay there. But if you want to put it in auto, just literally just push it across and it'll say, see, it says A1, yeah, yeah. Or you can have if you push it across again, look, it goes into 1M, okay. So that, that's on the paddles now, okay. We'll keep it in auto for now, yeah. That's in auto now. Ah, well, what a difference from the 33s, man. I, know, I, used really, a, I had a 33 yeah. and it's just like, oh, it's different, it's worlds apart, mate. A lovely driving position, though. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? The only thing I don't like it too much is the handbrake. The handbrake, yeah, I've just noticed that. I think the armrest should have been out Burn, a out bit longer, it. isn't it? Yeah. Handbrake up a bit more. Should have maybe just shortened this piece here, maybe. Yeah. But I'm guessing with the selector, you need yeah, I suppose. a several bit of length that you want to fall. I think pretty much now. I think the gearbox stopped right here. Right. From the engine. Right. They're fucking huge. Just that little one straight there. It's crazy, isn't it? It's so responsive, it's unbelievable. this car got up to this speed on on that long straight at the top gear test track it was like jesus man <laughs> luke said to me like mate you need to slow down a bit man. And i was like nah nah i need to keep going like surely Oh, mate, this is definitely a license. 
and snooze up. Isn't crazy, you know? <laughs> feel them pads up? Yeah, I can feel them. I reckon there's a. Uh, I reckon they got a few like facial like hair cracks in them. Yeah, was it? Yeah, I reckon. Until next time, you like travel safe and peace out. Yeah, hey yo, I'm feeling blessed. Now sit back and observe days I used to ride bikes. Pegs in the curve, swerve through traffic. Headphones on, with still matic. I'm lyrically inclined, push balls like I'm lifting weights, smoking trees. X, moving at a fast pace.